did you achieve this, sorcerer? You arrived not a moment too soon, Kiris. What have you learned? In scrutinizing Sheng Tsung's first meeting with his benefactor, I made an important discovery. Her life essence, the very time crystals that make up her being, are not of this timeline. Not of this timeline? How could someone from a previous timeline enter this one? That cannot happen. If that cannot happen, then what has happened, Kiris? There are no other timelines than those that have come before. All evidence points to the presence of a second timeline, which exists concurrently with ours. Two timelines, side by side, moving forward simultaneously? Never in a billion lifetimes have I seen this. But that does not make the other timeline any less real. There can be no doubt that Shang Tsung's benefactor hails from it. Hmm. And who she is, why she's here, where she's from. All questions we need answered, which we can't while we are under attack. I will go to Sindel, convince her to withdraw from Earthrealm by showing her how history is being manipulated. That will require revealing to her your prior role as Keeper of Time. The situation gives me no choice. I will need your help, Gears, to prove my claims to the Empress. Return home, Lord Liu Kang. I am to let no one pass. I must see Her Majesty. She must call off her attack on Earthrealm. Her decision was unwise, but she no longer seeks my counsel, and I doubt she's interested in yours. The Empress has been deceived. Shang Tsung and General Shao have fomented this crisis as a means to steal her throne. General Shao? I knew he was hiding his true intentions. But join Shang Tsung? Ugh. I knew he couldn't be trusted. Were I still Umgadi, he would never have breathed the same air as the Empress. My palace sources told me he arrived out of nowhere and immediately had the Empress's ear. He gained her trust by treating Princess Melina's condition. Tragically, she is afflicted with Tarkat disease. Tarkat? <sighs> The Empress must be beside herself. If Shang Tsung found a treatment, no wonder she embraced him. I have shared this with no one. I trust that you, of all people, will keep this secret. Of course. Were it made public, it would bring down the royal family. Li Mei, Empress Sindel needs our help. Will you join me? Emperor Jared's death. The pain it caused Empress Sindel has always haunted me. I failed the royal family once. I won't do so again. Everything now makes sense. My Umgadi contacts had said the general soldiers had been encroaching. But still, I can't fathom it. General Shao committing treason? It is the fruit of a poisonous seed planted by Shang Tsung. He played to the general's vanity, inflamed his prejudices to convince him that he alone could save our world. He may be unstoppable. The Umgadi don't have numbers, and my constables aren't trained for war. Know that I, too, will aid in the Empress's defense. <laughs> Driver, what is it? I may need that aid right now.
Return Liu Kang to the portal gate, Li Mei. He isn't welcome in Outworld. I won't support the General, Reiko, nor his plot to usurp the throne. Then you won't live to see the new regime. They have us surrounded. I am Earthrealm's protector, Li Mei. I am no stranger to combat. Then let's get out there. You should have joined us, not the constabulary. We could have used your own gaudy skills. Enough! I've no use for a traitor's compliments. Fight! and your accomplices will face judgment, Reiko. We must leave. Reinforcements will be on the way. of his arrival precedes you. Surrender if you wish to remain unharmed. Let us pass, Tanya. The Empress and her family are in danger. He brings word that Shang Tsung and General Shao plot against them. The General? Are you so easily taken in by lies? Once again, you prove incapable of protecting the royal house. Fight! <laughs>
I'm sorry you made that necessary. Priestesses. You know who I am. Of my deeds when I was one of you. I may no longer be welcome. But in my heart, I am still Umgadi. I will always honor my vows. He's here to end a threat to the Empress. Stand against us, and she will lose the throne. Stand with us, and we will save the Empire. Why didn't you kill me? Because we mean you no harm. And that you live will help prove that fact to the Empress. dare you, Li Mei? It's not enough that you let Jared be murdered. You let Liu Kang destroy the rest of my family? My heart broke when your husband died. I lost not only my emperor, but you, my closest friend. I know you may never forgive me. But don't be blinded by anger and grief. We are here to help you. <laughs> No, daughter. Your condition. Your faithlessness astounds, Li Mei. How can you side with Earthrealm against us? I'm acting for your family's benefit, and for Outworlds. If you took a moment, you'd realize it. Fight! You must be smarter, Princess. No, Melina. I forbid it. I must. If I won't risk my life for the throne, I'm not worthy of it. I remember teaching you that, Princess. You were but a girl. <laughs> that was long ago. Much has changed. My loyalty to your family hasn't. Trust me now as you did then. Please, Princess, just listen. We shouldn't fight. Forgive me, Princess, but I won't allow you to hurt yourself or anyone else. Fight.
Tarkat makes victims of us all. I am in your debt. No, your majesty. There can be no debt between friends. I am glad she is safe, and that our conflict has ended. It is paused, not ended. Li Mei has earned my goodwill. Whether you do remains to be seen. I seek only peace, your majesty. Is that why you send minions on secret missions into my empire? You've proved yourself the enemy I was long warned you would be. I understand your anger, but I had reason to believe that Shang Tsung posed a threat to both of us. Until I confirmed them, I did not want to burden you with my suspicions. And now? They have proven true. Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, the General. They conspire to conquer our realms. A serious charge. Where is your proof? At Shang Tsung's laboratory. If what you see there does not convince you, I will surrender Earthrealm without a fight. Oh, how could I have so misjudged them? For Shang Tsung to indulge in such depravity, for General Shao to condone it, they are not the men I thought them. Despite my best efforts, neither man nor Quan Chi are who they were meant to be. They're not your responsibility. They're outworlders. But it is I who crafted their destinies, along with those of all other beings, at the dawn of history. You created the realms. I is your mind addled, demigod? I am a mere demigod now. But eons ago, I was more powerful than all of the Elder Gods combined. I was a titan, and the keeper of time. This is Gears. Your Majesty, Your Highnesses. Giris is the guardian of the Hourglass, a celestial object which lies beyond the realms. The Hourglass regulates time and destiny. When I wielded its power, it was upon me to craft all of existence, which I did when I restarted history. Restarted? 
This timeline was preceded by billions more. Though this is the first of Liu Kang's design, the others were designed by his predecessor. Kronika was obsessed with equalizing good and evil. When a timeline veered too far to one or the other, she would halt it and restart history, tinkering with lives and events in the hope of achieving her golden balance. Prior timelines, Kronika gave Shang Tsung and Quan Chi mastery of the most vile magics. Shao is not a general, a tyrannical ruler bent on conquest. You, Sidel, were his ruthless wife, who would do anything to preserve your privilege. When I took the hourglass from Kronika, I vowed to do better. So in this timeline, the sorcerers would not gain their dark powers. Shao would be your loyal follower, and you would rule Outworld firmly but fairly. But someone has interfered with Liu Kang's design. Shao, Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, all have been groomed by an unknown entity to be the villains they were in previous timelines. Where to begin? Am I to kneel to my creator? Do you expect worship? No, your majesty. My prior role was thrust upon me by circumstance. I am in no way divine. You had power over all of creation, yet you gave it up. Because I saw how it drove Kronika mad, I knew I would fare no better had I kept it. dare you conspire against Outworld? Not against Outworld, but against your misguided rule. Your deference to him leaves us all vassals. So you sanction these unspeakable horrors? Lie to me about the threats we face? Thanks to you, Earthrealm blood is already on my hands. Bloodshed, without cause or provocation. Don't move. Empress, everyone, stay back. What is it? The Amulet of Shinnok, a weapon of terrifying power. It should not exist. Its maker is powerless, as Liu Kang designed. Yet more proof of foreign interference. Enough, Prattle! You both bend me to Outworld's new Emperor. Put down the Amulet. Its evil is beyond your control. <laughs> do you think I do battle not train with my weapon? I am more than prepared. <laughs> So General Shao casts his lot with Outworld's enemies against me. He's a fool to ally with you blood-sucking fiends. Fight. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
You're no better than Shang Tsung's monstrosities. Tanya and your daughters. They are not dead, but trapped in the amulet. We can still save them. party to Shao's treason. Know that it will cost you your life. I owe him mine many times over. Sacrificing it in his service would be an honor. Fight! Your rebellion is doomed. Your betrayal hurts most, Rain. I thought of you as a son. I've outgrown you, Empress. Shang Tsung's taught me that I've scratched just the surface of my power. To explore it, I can't be bound by your limits. Fight!
are forever dead to me. <laughs> Sindel. I remember the weak, sickly boy you were. How your father fought to push you past your infirmities. Now you repay him by spitting on his ideals? Your revolt shreds every value he held dear. Fight. General. The amulet, your majesty. I hate to disrupt, but we must act quickly to save Earthrealm. Is that the command of my creator? No, your majesty. It is the request of a friend. <laughs> 